Oh my god, did I just go live at the right time? Couldn't be me. A period on time, your fave could never. I know, I am pulling out all the stops today. Shall we just like get cracking? I feel like that is the way forward. Um, I'm going to take the stabilizers from this build and put them in this build because I am out of stabilizers. <laughs> These are the SP Star Cyber Switches. They are glow in the dark. I'm not sure if I can show you that they're glow in the dark. Let's try, hold up. That, okay, we'll try it. Let me just zoom. Oh no, that's as close as it gets. I, I think that's gonna be an uh-uh. Well, you'll just have to take me at my word. These are glow in the dark. For those of you who don't know, the boulder is currently um, in stock, if I remember correctly. Is it in stock? I'm pretty sure it's in stock. Um, it is only $150, which is uh, especially for a glass keyboard uh, and this is one of the protos. We were supposed to build this ages ago <laughs> Ages and ages and ages ago. We built it but with a non underglow PCB Because my underglow PCB unfortunately came DOA. It was not a one-up one. It was a different one So don't worry one up. You're fine. Last time I ever buy an RGP underglow PCB from anybody else But we have one that's what matters. So let's get building, shall we? Wait a second, glow in the dark switches on a glass case. I'm excited. I know I had these switches all picked out and prepped for this build for ages. Why not use a weird flex PCB? Cause they don't have underglow. And um, the coolest part of a glass keyboard is the underglow is gonna be bonkers. What are SP Star Glow switches? So these are not SP Star Glow. These are SP Star Cyber switches. They are a glow in the dark fluorescent switch. In fact, where is my UV at here? I'll show you. Ready? Ooh. Ah. Woo. Ah. There you go. What are the benefits of going plateless? Sound and feel. It allows for slightly more flex. It'll be about as flexy as an FR4 plate, which, you know, is flexier than brass, but it's not like a huge amount of flex. But more importantly, the sound, you'll not be getting any, any plate sounds. It'll be purely the, the PCB, and I kind of like that. What happens with plateless on a hot swap board? Is it even possible? So it totally is. We actually built the original one <laughs> plateless. Um, it'll usually be a bit crooked, as you saw on that build. Uh, a little bit crooked just because, um, you know, it doesn't have as much holding it straight. Why would it be the same as an FR4 plate? Because FR4 is the material PCBs are made out of. FR4 is literally a PCB material, so why would it be different if it's just two PCBs rather than one? It's not gonna be terribly different. It'll be slightly different, but it won't be particularly different because they're the same material. Two layers of FR4 would be stiffer than just one. A bit, but... FR4 doesn't have like the most flex anyway, you know, like I can do this. Sure. Like it's, it's more flexy than, I don't know, a carbon fiber plate would be, but it's not nearly as flexy as a polycarb. And you know, where my typing is pretty gentle and this is tray mount, even with the, the gaskets, it's not going to be super, super flexy. So in this particular situation, it's not going to make a huge difference. I keep forgetting you fucking yank PCBs around. I mean, have you ever tried breaking one of these bastards? It's not easy. They're, they're pretty solid. The only thing you have to worry about is like cracking a solder joint or an LED in this case. You're doing this to trigger me? I would never pump you. That is definitely not something I would ever do. Ever, ever. No. <laughs> is the boulder heavy? You know, it's heavier than I thought it would be for sure. I would say it's about as heavy as an aluminum board. Yeah, it's a little bit heavier than an aluminum board would be. It's about the same weight as my devastating TKL. I have a problem that I'm worried is going to leak into stream where it would be very inappropriate for it to do so. Alan and I have started saying, this needs context actually. Do you guys know that one like child on the internet meme? The, the nice cock meme. Okay, let's see what we're working with. Whoa, nice cock. Alan and I have started saying that to each other, just like randomly, just cause it's funny and we're stupid. <laughs> and I, I keep almost saying it to you guys on stream and that would be highly inappropriate. So if I ever do so, just know I mean nothing by it. It's a meme. 
forgive me. I'm going to continue to try to not let that come out on stream. <laughs> Let's go from the nice cock meme to, we are proud to be sponsored by Kikol. Um, they are not cocks. This on over now. I did want to do a little polyfill. I don't love the design on the bottom of the winter PCV. And so I was like, eh, we'll just stick some polyfill in there. Make it look like clouds. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> There's not a ton of room for polyfill though. So we're gonna really, really stretch this out. Is GMK bleached a different tone than standard black on white? Indeed it is. Let me show you. This is GMK Minimal, which I would say is pretty standard black on white. So those are the two next to each other. So Minimal is significantly warmer than Bleach, as you can see. That's the difference. Bleach is just more cool toned. It was hard, sorry. Ta-ta. Pretty nifty. That polyfill didn't do a ton, for being honest. <laughs> as far as like diffuse, I was hoping it might like diffuse the light a little bit. It does like conceal the the bits, so I'm not too mad at it. But What do you guys think of it? What do you think of it? How do you feel about the sound? I like it. Yeah, I think it's super interesting it's though. It's different than what you normally make. It's yeah. not like super deep, right? Yeah, it's definitely way higher pitched. Than it's very clacky, not thocky. Clacky. Yes. Kind of reminds me of key cold sound, actually. Hello, Cinda the video editor here. There is no proper outro because Miss Perry had to prepare for the GB review with Mr. Alex Autos. So enjoy the robotic voice for this outro smiley face. Nice cock. Nice cock.